Hey everybody, Brett Hadley here with Real Word Productions. I want to talk about how to get great sound when you're doing guerrilla filmmaking with your mobile media device. Alright, so today we're going to talk about uh, inexpensive but really good sound product to get good audio for your filmmaking. This is an iRig lav mic and I've been using this for years and I love them. They have great sound. Uh, and they come ready-made for your Apple device. So if you're using an iPhone or an iPad to make movies with, uh, these come already with the TRRS input, which is, as you know, you need for Apple, not just the TRS, which is your common everyday headphone jack. You need the TRRS. And if you don't know what that is, I'll talk about it in a whole other video, kind of explain the difference. But for the iPhone and the iPad, uh, these are ready-made. You just plug in and go. And these are awesome because, as you know, with good sound, you want to get the mic as close to your mouth as possible. So if you're doing a podcast or just a, an interview or you're just sitting in front talking, you never use the microphone on your device. As you already know, but can never say it enough, always use an external microphone because the microphone on, the, on your iPad or the microphone on your phone does not sound good. So always use an external mic. Uh, so this gets you a, a mic clip right up here, right next to your mouth, sounds really good. And one of the cool things about this is that it gives you two options here. It also has an input so that you can monitor the sound. There's a headphone jack here so that when you're talking, someone's videoing you, you can or your audio person can plug in and hear the audio. Or you can have a second microphone. Uh, so the iRig comms, you can either buy it with just one or you can buy it two and they daisy chain together. And so you can simply plug the second mic in and now you have two labs with one audio input and you still have the ability to monitor with the headphone jack in the second mic. Uh, it's an incredible setup. It sounds really good. So if you're doing something simple, like I say, just you sit in front and talking or maybe you're interviewing somebody or just have another person, all you need is two mics. This is a great inexpensive way. I think the one, one mic setup is like $30, $35. The two mic is $60. And it is an awesome, inexpensive way to get great audio when you're doing some really simple, you know, one or two person stuff, okay? So if you are uh, using something later than, say, an iPhone 8, because I think the early versions of 8 still had a headphone jack, but uh, the 8 plus and up, all you have is the lightning input. You do have to get the adapter so that you can plug in your 3.5 millimeter or your headphone jack into the adapter and then plug it straight into your lightning. And that gets you into your iPhone, your iPad, uh, anything like that. But uh, it still works. All you have to do is get the adapter. Okay, so if you do have a lapel mic or some other mic that has a normal headphone jack, it's TRS, not TRRS, uh, I just want to throw out that there's another adapter that you can get that will allow you to use those microphones in your Apple device. It's a little adapter and you simply plug whatever uh, microphone you have into it, it's 3.5 millimeter jack, into your Apple device and then you're good to go. So you can use microphones that are not specifically made for Apple. You can use them, you just have to get the adapter to do it as well, okay? All right, so later we are going to talk about how to get an XLR mic into your Apple device and we're also going to talk about uh, how to use a little soundboard so if you end up having three, four, five different audio sources how do you get all of that into your iPhone or your iPad for making movies with your mobile media device?